Humans are so wasteful that humans have left 200 tons of trash on the moon. Okay. Must it always be bad news? Hola, hola! Welcome to Menos Waste. This is a channel where I talk about ways of making your life better for you, your wallet, and the planet. Today, I'm gonna be sharing my insights and my research on trash. I love doing these sustainability challenges and then sharing my insights and what I've learned with you all. This month, I decided to pick up trash every day and I decided to take a picture of it and collect it and weigh it. Just to give you a heads up, there was one clear winner as to what I found every single day. Multiple of them every time. Mm, cigarette butts. Cigarette butts were by far number one. Cigarette filters are actually the number one plastic pollutant in our ocean. I actually never know where these videos are gonna end up because it started off as a waste thing, but now it ended up being like a cigarette butt prevention thing. <laughs> You might have seen in my thumbnail that I got to meet Rob Greenfield, who is an activist that has very creative ways of bringing awareness to the waste problem. He got me really looking into the research. So just in general, the average American produces 5.91 pounds of trash every day. In fact, the U.S. produces 12% of the world's waste while only being 4% of the world's, world's the world's, the world's population. I just feel like I'm always the bearer of bad news. We produce 262 million tons of trash every year, and that goes up to 2.1, I have to reread that, 2.1 billion tons of waste worldwide. What happens to all this trash? Like, where does it all go? Actually, about 50% of it ends up in a landfill. And what's happening is that we're running out of space. Here in San Diego, where I live, our biggest landfill is gonna reach capacity in 2030. That's eight years from now. Humans are so wasteful that humans have left 200 tons of trash on the moon. Okay. But anyways, back to my challenge. So 30 days of picking up trash. I took a picture after every walk. Sometimes it was a lot of trash. Sometimes it was not a lot of trash. In total, for the 30 days, I collected the whopping amount of 10.4 pounds of trash, which I think is a lot. My community is supposed to be fairly clean. So I thought that was a lot. Something that was present in every single one of these boxes was cigarette butts every single time and i started thinking like well i don't smoke like what can i do to help in this issue and actually i have a brother that smokes so i asked him why do you throw cigarette butts on the street your question right and he told me well like aren't they biodegradable they'll just decompose eventually like, it's fine so after crying a little bit, I was like, you know, they're not. So the cigarettes themselves are, but the filters that come in the cigarettes are not. They contain cellulose acetate, which is a type of plastic. And even if you would take the cigarette part that does biodegrade, it's not great for the environment. A recent study, and actually I'll leave it linked down below, found that a cigarette in a liter of water had enough toxins to kill a fish that was in the liter of water. Okay, so what's the solution? Solution, focus, solution, focus. So if you're a smoker, obviously the biggest solution to this is to throw your butts in the trash can. You could decrease the amount of smoking or buy cigarettes without a filter. Cause again, the filter is what contains the plastic. Okay, but what about us non-smokers? Well, personally, I am going to put up signs in the places in my neighborhood where I found the most cigarette butts. I feel like a lot of people, and I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, that don't know that cigarettes don't actually biodegrade. They might change. Maybe I'm just being naive, but, you know, we can try. It's getting hot in here. Another thing that we can do is to just spread the news. If you know somebody that smokes, just tell them. Hey, did you know cigarette butts are the number one plastic pollutant in the ocean? Last but not least, and probably the solution that will have the most impact is to make the tobacco industry responsible for the waste that comes from smoking. Making them responsible for their butts. 
<laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Maybe they could offer like a recycling program, fund campaigns to pick up butts from the street. I <laughs> pick up butts on the street, support campaigns to raise awareness about the fact that they're not biodegradable, put it in the packet or something like that. That is all I have for you today. Let me know down below what other challenge you would like me to do. Next, I'm thinking of doing maybe a 30 day zero waste challenge. I think that would be fun. If you have any other 30 day challenges that you want to throw my way, I would love to be the guinea pig and try them out. I am at your service. Okay. Until next time, don't forget, poquito goes a long way. Thanks for watching. By the way, I do have an Instagram. I'll put that right here in case you want to say hi. And I have some other videos here and here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Ciao!